We have developments in the murder investigation in London, Ontario. The 20-year-old man accused of targeting and killing four members of a Muslim family with his truck appeared in court today. Our Catherine McDonald was there for that appearance and she joins us now live. Catherine, what did you learn today? Well, for the first time, we got to see Nathaniel Veltman in person, albeit he was on Zoom. He looked calm. He showed no emotion as he said his name, Nate Veltman, his date of birth. His hands were clasped in front of him. He looked straight at the camera, uh, appearing, as I said, via video from a London prison. Now, Veltman was wearing an orange jumpsuit. Uh, he of course, uh, was wearing a mask, so we couldn't see his face, but he indicated he was working on getting a lawyer. The 20-year-old arrested on Sunday night in the parking lot of a shopping plaza in London, just a short drive from the intersection where he allegedly jumped the curb in his black pickup truck and intentionally struck a family of five just out for a walk in what police are calling an, an attack fueled by hate for Muslims. He's charged with four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. No additional charges were laid today. We were anticipating that terrorism charges might have been laid, but that did not happen. Happen. Veltman will remain in custody and will be back in court virtually on Monday, at which time we may see those terror charges added. In the meantime, we are beginning to learn more about Veltman's unhappy teenage years from divorce documents initiated by his mother in 2016 that Global News has obtained. At the time, Nate, one of six children, the eldest along with a twin sister, was described as becoming increasingly difficult and argumentative with his mother, telling her she should stop homeschooling his four younger siblings. He was clearly upset about the split and was constantly attempting to discuss and argue with his mother and called it her fault. In court documents, it stated matters have become so stressful for the applicant that at times she has to lock herself in her bedroom. When Nathaniel was just 16 years of age, he told his parents he would be moving into his own apartment because he didn't want to live with his mother. And at the time, his dad was living in Sarnia, which was not convenient. And for the first time today, we are hearing uh, from Nathaniel Veltman's uh, father directly his father sending a statement to Global News saying he has so much sorrow for the uh, Absol family who as uh, we know are going to be laid to rest on Saturday. I'm going to have more about what we've learned uh, from those court documents about Nathaniel Veltman's past and some of it is quite surprising. Back to you.